Hello, my name is Nils Pirma. Today we're going to focus on key shot uh, texture mapping for tires. For example, tire texture sidewall mapping. So we're going to go overall and go to key shot. <coughs> we're going to load this up. We're going to get a basic situation where we can open our scene or import a model. Uh, we're going to go and import a model and we're going to get right back to it as soon as my model is imported. So I'm importing my model right now. So this is the model I'm gonna have. So people have asked me so how would I do my tire sidewalls and things like that. So I'm gonna just focus on like getting the tire sidewall as normal as possible. Uh, if you're gonna use uh, simple ray tracing mode like we have right here like uh, not, not like the performance mode and like quality I would highly suggest for initial uh, per, uh, mapping we should actually go to performance mode and get rid of the quality mode as well so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna search for in the material library there's a cool material called tire so we're gonna start tire here as well. Uh, some notice for this tire model, we have UV, map UV mapping uh, as well. If you don't have UV mapping, you can you you can go to planar or uh, Y X or Z axis, whichever axis you have your <coughs> model in, and actually import the the texture as well. Uh, for simple users, it's going to be minus 0 0.5 uh, plus 0 0.5. Uh, like the texture scaling but for this model we're gonna use UV mapping and I'm gonna import my UV map so I'm gonna use Evermotion's ultra grip uh, mapping situation where we're gonna have first of all we import this box map but we're gonna have like UV coordinates and we're gonna have like specularity map in the first place um, right now the specularity map is not importing correctly as well so we're gonna go to the desktop to my personal tire mapping uh, situ uh, tire map uh, folder so where we have like all these kind of other sidewalls so we're gonna use Connell sidewall we're gonna import it and we're gonna use UV coordinates as you can see right now we're gonna have scaling so we're gonna scale it up a little bit so we can have it on the right side in the right situation you can go also as like planar Y it will not show up correctly you can go planar X where it will show you on just one side wall uh, if you don't have UV mapping UV mapping, you can go planar Z if your model is like sub upside down and everything like so, uh, so on. Or if you have a UV map tire model like this one is, you can go to UV coordinates, you can probably set it up right away. <coughs> Sorry for this. Uh, you can actually go to bump map or opacity map, depends on what situation you're kind of using. I'm going to use this uh, UV, coordin uh, UV coordinates as bump map. So this is bumping out. Uh, we're gonna use uh, since we're going on this model. We're not uh, as Tim Fur actually suggested. We're actually not gonna go with one. We're gonna go with like 0 0.2 uh, height. So it will be pretty pretty cool. As my <laughs> as my situation is right now, we go going on to specularity map, so we can actually get some like color and everything like that onto it. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is if you're gonna have to like tire thread or something like that, like uh, specularity, you should probably put it under color or specularity map, so you can actually get it get to it right after. But since this is a UV map model, you're gonna have to have a specularity bump map. Uh, you can decide whatever kind of situation you want to have. You want to have it on the synchronization. You want to have it on repeat. You want to have contrast. You want to have brightness. You can choose whatever the kind of situation you actually want to have in on this situation uh, on this uh, particular model. 
and we can go into quality mode and check it actually what it looks in real life as for a realistic render so this is quite cool right now but it's really really black so we're gonna have a little bit of uh, since uh, 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 as you have seen probably some models in the first place it has uh, if you put some wax onto it it has some kind of reflection to it so I'm gonna turn the roughness down uh, I'm gonna also add a specularity map which is actually from a color um, probably not from here uh, we can have a specularity then we have gonna have brightness so this is right now in the quality mode this is actually what it looks like so this is actually a bump map uh, with the bump map with the specularity map so you can have some kind of continental texture you can do this on every kind of situ every kind of model you actually have uh, which is actually the tire side wall is bump mapped and UV mapped to this particular model so I'm gonna go come back right to it and we're gonna show you another trick which you actually do for the rim for the brake caliper and actually for the brake disc so I'm gonna get back to it and I'm gonna show you right away how it's done so we're gonna go forward and we have actually set up our bump map we have actually set up a specularity map for this model we're gonna go and do the brake uh, disc first and this is gonna be with steel I'm gonna use this edit material you can actually get these textures later on I, I will actually put them in the description video as well or you can go with basic steel as well uh, I'm gonna go to uh, back of primary where I have most of my keyshot files and most of my textures so I'm gonna go to on like back of cloud I know this folder as well I'm going to go to megasync where actually my most of my folders are gonna or files are gonna be located at so we're gonna go to all the 3d stuff there's situ uh, there's kind of models and textures over here and we're gonna go to textures folder we're gonna use break disk so this is the break disk uh, texture that we're gonna use uh, for this break model from midlargocg.com uh, you can get it uh, this break model as well we're gonna go to UV mapping UV coordinates it's actually pretty cool we're over here so it actually turns circular right away uh, we're gonna actually use steel for this brake caliper as well we're gonna go to uh, uh, we're gonna use chrome for the lug nuts and we're gonna use, go to uh, wait a second sorry for this okay so we're gonna use black chrome for the wheel as well so we're gonna use the center piece as well and if instead of like going in and dragging on for uh, material types we're gonna actually use uh, copy and paste material and we're gonna go to towards paint so we can actually have the center piece actually as well um, paint and we're gonna paint glossy on this and actually we have some kind of situation over here as well with these connection parts so we're gonna go back to chrome so we're gonna make those chrome chrome polished actually instead so you can then choose the environment you want to actually have it uh, rendered on and we're gonna go with something like something like this some kind of HGRI we could actually use and actually view the situation we have right here so it's uh, it's Chrome <coughs> sorry for this it's bump mapped it's actually the disk is actually UV mapped to these uh, to the um, brake disc uh, UV map as well we have the brake caliper as steel so everything is fine over here right okay but we're gonna just discard that and go to 
file and actually I'm gonna show you the same situation I did like in these couple of minutes and I'm gonna show you the exact same thing I did on the Audi Q7 and it's gonna be the same situation over there it's just been done four times in a row and it's the same wheel model, wheel model it's the same bump map it's the same roughness and it's the same kind of texture as well I'm going to turn it into performance mode so you can see it exactly so there's the brake caliper in steel there's the brake disc in steel there's the paint metallic paint there's the chrome there's the wheel uh, rim material and there's the UV mapping with bump mapping and specularity as well so you can get a rough idea of what's going on it's the easiest part you can do I'm gonna link these uh, models into and actually link this uh, same wheel model to this video and actually can go it on from there so it's a pretty easy start uh, pretty easy way to do these kind of situations and I hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one so bye